And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. It is 642 AM on this Thursday morning. We have been seeing more scattered showers to start this Thursday, mainly in the lower and mid valley. We started off along the coast. These showers pushed inland. Now we're seeing some showers west of Harlingen toward Borgesso and West Laco heading toward McAllen. Wherever you are, watch out for slick roads this morning. Please be careful when driving. Grab the umbrellas. We're not looking at an all day rain event, but there is that chance for some more scattered showers. And also you want that sweater or jacket, especially for the kids before school today. It is cool out there with temperatures in the mid 60s in West Laco, Harlingen and Brownsville. Upper 60s in McAllen. Humidity is 84%. We've got winds from the west northwest at 3 miles an hour. Elsewhere right now, winds out of the west and northwest between at 3 to 10 miles an hour. A nice cool start to this Thursday, but unlike yesterday where the highs only got into the upper 60s, it should be warmer later on today. And we may see a bit more sunshine by the late afternoon hours. Your day planner forecast 67 degrees at 8 a.m. Some more scattered showers possible. 78 for temperature at noon, mostly cloudy skies. Still a chance for some showers. A spotty showers possible at 5 p.m. with temperatures in the lower 80s. So here is a service map. The front is still stalled out over the western Gulf of Mexico. And right behind it, those winds at the surface continue from the west and northwest. That front is still acting as a focus point for some showers. Well, that front is going to move to the south. Southeast over the Gulf and fizzle out, we think, for tomorrow. Now, look at the upper left hand side of the screen. We are tracking another front right now over Nevada and Utah that's going to arrive here in the valley by the end of the weekend. And yes, that front will cool us off again by the start of next week. It is going to be warm for this weekend, but then cooler just in time for the start of the work week next week. Look at the temperatures right now. Speaking of cool, 59 in Austin, 52 in Amarillo, 61 in Midland, 65 in El Paso, 68 in Laredo, and and 70 in Houston, 62 right now in Dallas, Fort Worth. So here's future track. Lots of clouds according to the map, and there is still a chance for some showers, especially along the coast. Maybe a few showers toward the upper valley later on this morning. We may see some more sunshine perhaps by this afternoon. A very slight chance of a shower. We'll keep in a slight chance for some showers tonight. There may be a slight chance for some showers tomorrow afternoon, and I cannot rule out an isolated shower for tomorrow's evening games, especially early on in the evening, but it is a slight chance for that will keep the rain chances around 10 to 20 percent for your Saturday and Sunday thanks to the sea breeze. On the water, scattered showers and thunderstorms still a good possibility offshore today. We'll have winds under the north to northeast at 5 to 10 knots. The bay waters are a light chop, and your next tide is a low tide of 253 this afternoon. Seas are 2 to 4 feet. So for today, we'll keep in a 30 percent chance of some showers with high temperatures back in the lower 80s. Normal high for this time of the year is 88 degrees. Then for tonight, mostly cloudy skies continue with a 20 percent chance of rain. It'll stay mild with low temperatures dipping into the lower 70s. So here's that seven day forecast after a cool Wednesday. Today's highs are back in the lower 80s. Then the highs return to the upper 80s for tomorrow, Saturday and 90s right around Sunday. There is just a 10 to 20 percent chance of a shower for this weekend. That front should arrive either late Sunday night or early Monday morning. So there is a slight chance for some shower Sunday night and Monday morning. But look at that. It'll go from 90 Sunday down to 80 for the high on Monday. And when you wake up Tuesday morning, we expect those temperatures in the morning to dip into the upper 50s for the morning lows. Should be very nice for Tuesday during the day behind the front with much less humidity, mostly sunny skies and highs in the lower 80s. We're down to 60 for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Highs are back to the mid 80s for Wednesday. That is your first Warren 5 forecast. We